Hello everyone, Dope on a Rope here, and welcome to a new game called Pal World. It's uh, yeah, it's a new game, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm just gonna carry on for where I've, I've I've been like uh, about two days ago, I think it was. So I've got I'm not hugely far into it. I've mostly been building stuff, but yeah, it's a new game. It's uh, <laughs> it's I don't know if you can see what it looks like, but. It has striking resemblances to a certain game on the Nintendo. Uh, I can't remember what it's called though. Um, but yeah, it's very popular at the moment. Currently, I think there's one million, one million one hundred people playing, which is just madness. Uh, yeah, madness. A million people playing, and it costs twenty-five pound to buy it. So they've already made a good chunk of a. Uh, cash from it. And it's still early access is the problem. I'm not a huge fan of early access games. Obviously I play Project Zomboid, which is early access, uh, <laughs> early access. but uh, I've been done over with early access games before, so I've got a bit of a move for them. But I do like me some Pokemon. Oh, sorry, I said that name. And this does give me strong... Pokemon feels. Also, a lot of... Uh, I don't know if you've played it. Zelda, Breath of the Wild. But yeah, there's a lot of that going on. If you can see the temperature gauge down in the bottom left. That's very Zelda. -y. I mean, very Zelda. -y. you got a glider. That's very Zelda. -y. That's also very Zelda. -y. I'm amazed. I'm amazed they've managed to get this game out. I know it's, it's just similar, but... They're similar, and then there's very similar. But hey, I'm not going to complain. I really enjoy it. So, yes. What do you do in this game? That is a good question. Basically, it's like, for example, in Pokemon, you go around catching these creatures. But unlike Pokemon, these ones are more like servants, you could say. <clears throat> I don't know if you pay them, so or you feed them, but then I don't know. You do, yeah, but they do your bidding basically. So you set your stuff up, in farms. They you can do it yourself, but obviously if you have the right the right pals, you can't call them Pokemon. They're pals. Your pal, your buddy. If you've got the right creatures, they can uh, do it for you. Oh Jesus. Heard a man eating wild pals. So every so often you get little raids. It's still early access, so there's a lot of uh, issues with the game still. But it's uh, it's got its moments. I find the, uh, the battles between the pals themselves actually makes up for the well, currently the crapness of the enemy uh, humans like. They're, um, what are they? They're poachers and things like that. But because it's still an early game, they're only using clubs. So they might get a bit more dangerous once they're using. Uh, I need to go on through. Once they're using machine guns and stuff like that. Because there's machine guns in this game. Yeah, I need, to, I need to talk about my, my creatures. I've got a shiny, basically. He's a shiny. He's really powerful. Like, ridiculously powerful. Yeah. Ooh, try and catch him. So you don't get Pokeballs, you get these weird Pal Spheres. And... If you damage these creatures... Oh, oh there we go. If you damage the creatures, uh, you can then... You get an increased catch rate, which also has similarities to other things. I'm very badly damaged, I've been pissed ass around. But I need to sort my shit out. Um yeah, so there's a lot a lot of similarities to other games. But to a degree, I mean, I have heard it said that Pokemon wish that they could have done this, really. And in a sense I do get it. You can do a lot more in this than you could in Pokemon. But Pokemon's a bit more crisp and flushed out. And, but obviously they had the money behind them. 
they've got so much money Pokemon, they can make it crisp, like, you know, perfect. This, these guys were independent for, like, a very small development team. I don't know much about it, I literally searched for, like, popular games, like, see what was trending, and this was, when I saw the amount of people that were playing it, I was just like, what the fuck? So I checked it out and I saw that it was like Pokemon and I was like, oh my god, I do love me some Pokemon. Uh, and yeah, I was like, well, do, I, do I spend £25 on something that's still early access? But I thought, fuck it, why not? And yeah, it's been alright. It's, it's got potential. I see a lot of potential in it. I haven't done much because I was... I didn't want to do too much in case I did start to record some videos. Um, so I've literally, as you can see in the top right, the tutorial. Tutorial. Um, I'm on my last little chunk of that, so that's pretty much what I've done. I've got to the point where you've got to go fight this boss. I've got some guys, and pretty much just spent my time building stuff. It took so long to get all the bits. Well, it would have took a lot longer, but because I got certain creatures. I want to keep calling him Pokemon. Um, like this bad boy. He's a bad boy. I got him really early. He's like level 16. He's still too high level for me now. But there's a thing in the game where if you make them fight each other, you can just capture the weak, the one that's like about to lose. So you're just like, oh, there you go. It's, I don't know if they'll tweak that out at some point. But for example, this chicken, if I were to capture that chicken, you can get that chicken to... Well, it won't fight other chickens, but you get it to fight like like this cat, like cat thing. If there's a, one of these, around, you get them to fight. Whichever one loses, just before it dies, you capture it. So you don't really have to do. It, it, it just gives you the chance to capture really hard enemies quite early. If you can make it attack you, but make sure you dodge the attack and the attack hits something else, they all then attack it, give them time. You wear it down and then you just capture it. It's a bit cheaty really, but it's uh, early game. You ain't got a choice because your, your creatures won't beat them. Now I could just send... I mean, this shiny thing is so badass. This hang on, I'll show you. This my cat. I haven't named him. He's badass. Because it's a shiny as well. And I got him really early. He was just walking through my base. I was like, what the fuck? So I was like, oh, catch him. But he's got this dark laser and it does so much damage so much damage I mean that's its next best attack and it is pretty good because he just chains each attack it's like slash 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 and he does it for ages so that's still powerful as hell but that's just like Jesus he shouldn't have it really I mean I don't know how he has it I presume it's because he's a shiny but yeah he was a bitch to catch because cause he had this attack he was a nightmare to catch but once I did, pardon me, I've not stopped using him because he's just so good. But he's got Coward, which is which is annoying. Bottomless stomach just means he, he's more. Bottomless stomach. You thought that meant he ate more, but no, it's a sanity. Okay, well that's peculiar. But lucky, which is good, gives him plus 15 attack, so it cancels that out just in case plus five attacks so, I mean it's a bit better but I've been slowly doing them up because you can upgrade them but he's the one I can put it all into because he's the only shiny I got <laughs> who's making that noise um yeah I mean <laughs> it's still a bit glitchy and obviously I built this so it's not <laughs> he shouldn't he... well you know the the trap their pathing isn't the greatest at the moment. There's still work that needs to be done. But um, but if I didn't build all this shit, he'd be fine. It's because I built... I tried to give him a nice big entrance, Christ. He wants to get in the bloody hot tub. That's what it is. Uh, at least under. But yeah. Um, so yeah, I've just been pretty much... At the moment... Building. People have been comparing it to Ark. I haven't played Ark, so I can't say, but I'm guessing. I presume that's the building and the technology systems like Ark and stuff like that. I mean, I've got to here. I haven't rebuilt. I haven't got it all. 
least tons more. It goes all the way down to 50, I think it is. By that point, you've got like fucking missile launchers and fucking mounted missile launchers. So, I mean, it gets a bit crazy. You know, assault rifles and stuff. So, I'm far from that. I mostly got the thing I just, and it took ages to get, was the bloody crossbow. Um, yeah, so I got, I got different. What have I got? I got this bad boy. This is like one of the bosses. What? Little dragon thing. Quite cute, really, I must say. They are cute. I got another one of these. Yeah. I got three of these bad boys. They're good. They are good. They'll cut your trees down, which is really good. And they also plant seeds, because each creature has jobs it does. Uh, yeah, for example, like this sheep, he can carry stuff, he can, he can build stuff, sorry, he can carry stuff, and you can put him in, like, the branch, and he'll make wool, so each one has different things they're good at. Different specialties <clears throat> that they specialise in. Yeah, so it's, it's quite cute. I like I like how they you use them. Like he'll heat the furnace. It's it's, it's it's little good things like that. It's quite cool. But it's still very early. I think it only came out last month, started last month. So there's still lots to be done with it. Story-wise, I'm not sure what much of a story there is. It, just pretty much sets to head towards these towers. You can't really see it. There's one. A bit like uh, Breath of the Wild, where you've got these towers everywhere. But then I th it's from what I've gathered, there's like Pokemon type trainers inside that you've got to battle. So, I presume there's something going on there. I presume they're just like Team Rocket. we got to defeat all the Team Rocket. So much crap, but it's one of those games where you do just get crap. It's not that everything's not set up very well. I just sort of because this is where I originally built it. I built it up the top of this hill, and then when I built it down here, it trans it doesn't transport all your stuff. So all like all the wood and everything that I had that I built this out of was up there and I was like I was carrying like 2,000 weight so I was like going you know encumbered speed where you're just like the slowest walk imaginable so I just but I couldn't be fucked to do it like more than once so I just thought I'd just take it all so I took everything I like could barely walk and I just held bloody W and watched I think I watched an episode of Taskmaster and just held W just walked forward for like I think it was an hour it took him to walk down there so, no, no, it wasn't an hour, sorry. The episode was an hour. The, it took about... It, it took about 30, 35 minutes, I think. Because I was right at the top. And this is right down the bloody bottom. But it was that where I had to get everything all over again. And I was like, ugh. But yeah, it took a long time. So I watched something while I was doing it. But yeah, anyway, so I've, I've built some stuff. I've got more stuff to to get. I need to get iron. This this isn't the greatest, but I built it here because I like the bloody view. I wanted to build it in the water, but you can't actually build it in the water. Unfortunately, it all ruins the view, really. I shouldn't have built the wall. I should have just kept it open. Just put a roof on a couple of sides. But I don't know. This is still, like, I believe, the the beginner area, so, it's like, I mean, the map's quite large for how much I've walked, compared to how far over I presume you can go. There's a, a lot more, so I don't think this is where my base will be, be forever, so I will eventually have to just give up. I presume give up all my shit, because I could take out some stuff and carry it, but... 
most of it just gets left here. The only thing that moves is your, like, this, your, like, pet, uh, safe, whatever computer it has with your pets on. That's what claims your base area, so that disappears and moves to where your new base would be, but all of this will stay here. Like, everything will stay here, except for the Pokemon, like, they'll be with you. So you've got to come back here and dismantle it all into, like, the barrel wood again, and then carry it all, which is what I had to do from up there. So I don't know. <laughs> Otherwise it just degrades, it'll just disappear. So I presume if you do move, you just have to start fresh, you know what I mean? You don't have to move, though. You could stay here, because there are fast travel points. I did put him next to one, which is quite handy for me to get places. And you can fast travel straight back to your base anyway. So you could, in theory, stay here. Um, and eventually you can, like, because I could ride my giant hog if I wanted to. You get bird Pokemon you could fly around on. So once you can saddle them up and fly, it'd take you a lot less time to get here. It's just the resources. This spot isn't the greatest because I'm not by any, um, or <clears throat> so if I were to get iron or anything like that I have to it's, it's not far it's just up there but because it's not within my base area they wouldn't auto mine it so I'd have to mine it myself which in the long term isn't great see it's literally right here and I'm like oh for fuck's sake and I'm just down there and I'm like oh for fuck's sake but you can like I could get my yeah. This one there, here. he can mine it. <coughs> so I could technically just get him to mine it, stand here, blah, blah, blah. But then I could also join in. I think I... Oh, no, see, that's another thing. <laughs> I put all my iron I had into the bloody crossbow. So I didn't get an iron bloody pickaxe. So I need to repair my stone pickaxe. So I can get some more iron. Or I just leave him to do it. It takes a lot longer. But ideally, if this was in my base, he would just do that in my base as his job, and you just get constant iron. So I'm a bit like fuck. <laughs> but I did, when I when I moved my base down here, I didn't think about iron at the time. I was too busy thinking about the location, being like, oh, it's so pretty. And now I'm like, oh, it's pretty, but it's pretty fucking shit for resources as well. Ah, oh, fuck. But, um, it's not too bad for how much iron I need currently. Well, it is... <laughs> I say that. It is the next... The next step in my technology, I, I believe, is now going onto iron, so... I've got it researched, I just can't build the fucking stuff. Yeah, I see, because that was, like, a turning point. So, at that point... Everything's gone more iron based, so I should. I'm gonna have to move, really. Because I can't supply enough iron from. Well, then again, I don't know where I'd move to. Because nothing. It's not making. Like, that's not gonna make me enough iron. But then again, there is one over there. There was another one around here, but uh, I don't know, I don't know, I, d I just didn't think about iron, I should have thought about iron. So yeah, if you do get this game and play this game, think about iron. I've got the stone, you can build these and infinite stone, but you can't build one that gives you infinite bloody iron yeah it just seems it's a weird game mixing like like I say Pokemon with machine guns and stuff is a bit just, just seems a bit fucking crazy. 
Right, so I need to actually level up. Because I'm not very high level yet. Not really. I can't repair that until I get iron. Iron, so you need iron. I keep pressing the wrong button and throwing, wasting my balls. Hmm. boss. He's like massive. Compared to like the standard one, it's not worth it really. He doesn't give you anything extra. Like in terms of uh, working. You could just replace him with one of them. It does the same thing. <laughs> So much bloody wood, so I was like, ugh. Right, well, get cavities. I'll come in handy. Right, hungry. <coughs> so, I need to eventually go and take on this boss thing. Yeah, that's where that blue lizard chill it. Chillette was. So I beat that one. 23 is a bit too high a level. And that big bastard back up there is far too high a level. He's like 30 odd. weird seeing this sort of game, this is like, you know, you think The Witcher or something like that, and then you get this pink cat just walking around, and it's like, what the fuck? But it's, it's quite interesting. Like, it's quite pretty for, uh, for what it is for an early access game and all that. Makes you think, what the hell's going on? <coughs> But then you get Ta -da, you get him. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I need to go in there, but I don't think I'm ready yet. I need to get better armor. Um, my crossbow's good, so that should be all right. I could do it getting a bit higher level. If I could get to level 16, that'd be good, because then I'd be at the right level to use my... Um, Dinosum. Because he's... Uh, level 16, so until I'm level 16 myself, he's a bit... He's not as good as he would be, basically.
Go get him. <laughs> he is ridiculous. <laughs> but yeah, see, they fight each other. So what you do is, if you didn't say have that one, you'd let them fight, and then you'd capture it. See if you ever fight them. It's quite handy. He hasn't got a chance against those. So if they fight back, he's fucked. I should have fixed my pickaxe, really. <coughs> this is a nice area. Why didn't I build my fucking base here? He just kills them, so it's hard to catch things. Nope, no. I'll stop before you kill it. Yeah! Good thing is, this crossbow's pretty good. Compared to the shitty bow and arrow I had before. than like a tree trunk. Dragon cannon. I'm presuming that's... That, that's the thing. It's better than a log. Hey! Yeah. I think this puts my level up, yeah. I'm <laughs> just murdering them for the fun of it. Them really not kill them because you uh yeah you can sell them for gold so that'd be happy. I assume at some point you'll be able to breed them as well, because you get males and females, but I haven't got that far yet. Or they haven't introduced it yet into the game. Whoa.
just call him off just in time. What are you? Yeah. What? Yeah. <clears throat> Just a case of looking around, really. I need to try and find something a bit higher level than these little level. What was this? I keep seeing it. Yes, I presume you can go over there. Yeah, yes, yeah, so you would be able to. It's got things all over there, and you got all of that. So yeah, yeah. So the, the there's something to do with that tree, basically the massive tree. It said, yeah, it's, well, it said it at the start. If you get the game, you'd understand it. I'll tell you where it start. It's something to do with the towers and the big tree. So I presume you go to the towers, then go to the tree. But yeah, there's something going on with the tree, the massive tree. Like the tree of life, whatever it is. What? Right, I need to... Might be better than one I've already got. Yeah. Playing on hard as well. Not that it's a hard game, but you just take a lot more damage. So I have died a hell of a lot of times. There's no sort of penalty, you just drop your shit. So in a sense there is if you're playing multiplayer with people. Um, but because I'm just playing single player, it's not a big deal. You just gotta run back to your body and pick it all back up. But if you're playing online, yeah that'd be a that wouldn't be nice. Because they, they, you drop everything, you drop all your Pokemon as well, so they can come along and pinch your Pokemon. Which I think is a bit harsh. 
but for single player, it just sits there. It's got like a big blue beacon points up, so you can sort of go to it. Um, yeah, so there's no real penalty, but it's just I always prefer playing on hard if I can. Just good, but I mean, I, I got no armor. Literally, it's just clothes to keep you warm, rather than actual armor. That was my next thing to do was to get armor, but I didn't. <laughs> it's not a big deal. It's a bit of a bastard at night though, because it's cold. Stuff. Yeah. I've just run straight back to him. But, um, I don't think he just disappears when he, he says, No, oh, my shiny. Oh, no. It is a bastard though, because I ain't got my paraglider or anything like that. So I got run all the way back. What are you? Yeah. Uh -oh. I only had one ball. Yeah. I don't know what happens if you die again. That's a good question. I just asked myself. So I probably shouldn't die again. I presume nothing happens. But if it's sick, then it might take like make your shit disappear there have been games in the past that have done that and it's horrible I mean yeah I mean Elder Scrolls for example you know you die you lose your souls you die again you lost your souls it's like oh fuck I wouldn't have thought this would be like because this I mean kids can play this game right so I thought they'd destroy kids like that. So I, I need to get armor. Is my thing I need to get <laughs> badly. Oh, another one. I may as well catch it because you might have better stats. What? I swear to God. Yeah. 
wasn't even anything there. You can't dodge, I'm just not very good at it. I'm still very bad at this game. Plus I've come from playing Project Zomboid, so this is a bit like, ooh. Mm. Ooh. Pardon me a second when I look for, look for something. There we go. Okie dokie, right. Yeah, so I need to get my shit really, come back and make make the armor, because it's it's <laughs> it's not good. That's the only thing that makes it hard, if you want to call it hard, it's just the fact you take more damage. And I'm not at the stage where I've got like health packs or anything like that yet. So the only way to heal, I presume, is well, just to eat. So what's going on? pretty sure they're aggressive so they just attack you which isn't a bad thing it's quite good because most things in this game are quite passive where am I going have I lost my shit oh there oh fuck me I got far didn't I um they might not be I thought they were yeah 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 yeah, yeah they are bastards um, it's quite nice that they are aggressive, because most things in this game are passive unless you attack them. Or that I've come across so far anyway. But now's not the best time for them to be aggressive. Because... Because, you know... Oh, you fucking bastards. Ah, uh, X. Oh! Right, so yeah, you, you can dodge, so I need to just get better. Things quite cool. <coughs> they got like strawberry bushes or berry bushes. I think it's strawberry bushes on the back. Hmm? Wow. I just think, ooh, I could sell that, sell that, ooh, I could sell that one. <laughs> I'm worse than the fucking poachers, is the problem. Yeah!
Right, I am going back to my base. I can see potential in this game. It's still, I mean, it's still early days. It's got a bit of the, uh, a bit like Final Fantasy in a sense. The newer ones where you run around and you get little areas where there's a couple of enemies. So it's not, it's not any different to other games, if you know what I mean. Like, like literally, you could play some of the Final Fantasy games where you get to run around openly, and it's not. That's not like. It's not as full as you'd like it to be with life, you know, full of wildlife. It's it's patchy like it is now. So I mean, if it's keeping up to what, like some of the Final Fantasy games do, it's not bad. Plus, it's got the, the look of these cute little Pokemon style. It's got, it's got, it's got things. It's, it's got a bit of everything, you know. It's, it's it is crazy. <laughs> But I like it, I do enjoy it. It's obviously very popular, Christ, a million odd people playing it. It's clearly very popular. I've heard there's a lot of issues with hackers though at the moment. So I don't really want to play online. But you get that with every game. That's just a part of bloody playing online. See, I get the feeling the people who made this game either worked for Nintendo and are just like disgruntled and have left. Because there's the like, because I mean they must do. Because there's so much like Zelda, like Breath of the Wild, so much Pokemon, so much Nintendo. You know what I mean? They they must have something must be going on in Nintendo. It's pissed people off and they've left and took took knowledge with them. If you know what I mean things they can and can borrow from, or what they can and can borrow from these things. I say borrow, <laughs> pretty much straight up steel. <clears throat> I'm only calling them Pokemon because it's the most popular version, but there's tons of other things like Digimon and shit like that, so it's not, it's not like Pokemon's the only thing in the world. That's the one that had the most money behind it, I suppose, and beat out the competition, in a sense. Another bloody box. Here they come. Do, 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 do.
you guys. That look like well, sort of, especially from the back. Hmm. I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> Terrible. We wish the new. an assault rifle. Another one that's quite funky. He's a slacker, cheery, destructive. Interesting. Right, armor. So I'm gonna need. Oh, I can already. That's good. Make it. Why is no one building this? Come on. Do I have to do it myself? Oh, I can't get him. Oh! Here we go. Okay. Yeah!
Right, that's better. Gives you a little bit of defense. Right. I've got arrows. That's good. So I need to get some fire. to make a pickaxe. Once I've got a pickaxe, I should be able to go up in theory. Um, get a bit quicker. God damn it. Yeah, this is like how slow I was walking when I had to move all my shit from my base down to here. Still quicker than starting all over again. And by that I mean starting the gathering process again from down here. It was still quicker just to walk like this. <coughs> I'm amazed he even let me because he was like in the thousands. I mean he's in the thousands now, but he was in the like seven five, six thousand he was because of all the all the wood he had. It was mad and the stone.
<laughs> Go, my minions. Chance to shoot it, really. Faster. You should get a whip. You can get a knife, like a butcher's knife. Then you cut, you cut them up. It's like get rid of them. It's like what a way to do it. A meat cleaver. Yeah, for butchering some pals. <laughs> so you better work fucking faster.
think this one gives me extra carry. Yeah. I could have sworn that's what his power was. Oh, in team. Let's carry supplies. Oh, just not doesn't need to be iron. It just needs to be in your team. <coughs> Fair enough. So I've already got that boost then. I need to find some more shinies. These things kick ass. This one po like shiny Pokemon do more pow. It's kicked so much ass. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. I bet he's not even the best one, not even by far. Fucking sell them to the bloke who buys, to, who buys them. Like, just makes more sense to me. Just sell them. So you'd have to have him out for that. Right, so you also have to activate that one. Right. See, so this one is quite good, because as long as he has the collar and he's in your team, he'll come out. That's why he's been following me around, so he'll attack with me. So that's good. So if you could have had all of them. I suppose you could get a team of just those. You'd have like four of them, and then your one cat one, and then you'd have four of these things flying around, I presume. That's an option. Right, so you need leather and metal. Okay, well, that's obvious. Yeah, I also need nails. Just 
slightly better catch rate balls, but I've only got four of them for now, so I don't want to waste them. But if I get the table dates we build them, then that's just going to be the standard ones I use from now on. <coughs> right, so what's my level at? My level's 15, and I want to get up to 16, like I say. And then I can... Because I don't need this one. to get the level sink. Then I might have a chance against the boss. Well, I need to change these two really because they're too low level. I haven't got them up high enough yet. But I haven't got much else. It's that green. He might be better. See then her. I like her but I haven't I've been able to use her enough to get her high enough level. Threes. <clears throat> Yeah, so I think this is the team I should take in with me to fight like the trainer guy. I just need to try and get him up a bit. Although he's more just there to shoot at it when I shoot at it. He's gonna come down more to the other four. But from what I remember, because I have quickly got in there and tried to fight him, and he just kicked my ass. He's got like got thousands of health. I'm not sure if it's 3,000 or 30,000. I think it's 30,000. He's got a stupid amount of life. Which is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Um, yeah. But anyway, I'm going to leave it there. I've got plenty more to do, but I've done a bit. just wanted to pretty much show you all the game. It's quite good. It's there's bits to it, there's there's enough to do that I haven't done yet for me to be like, oh, there's stuff to do, but I don't know, there, there's not like, been like a, a narrator giving me a story or anything like that, it's just, it's told you a couple of bit, little things and then off you go. So I presume you pick up more as you're playing, you'll get, because there are people you can talk to, there's like a little village I can come across somewhere. So there are people you can talk to. Obviously there's traders you can trade with. So there must be something going on. I think you'll find out more. Um, you do get also journals. So there's little bits of stuff going on. But there's nothing really spoken to you. Uh, but yeah. It's got potential. Hopefully the, the devs don't. Because the, the devs would have made so much money. Already. Like I say. Million, like a million, say one million five hundred people, fi one million five hundred thousand people playing, all spent twenty five quid on it. They've already made a shit ton of money. But this is a gold mine, really. Because if you think, I think there's like a hundred and eleven, hundred eleven Poke Pokemon to catch. So you've got to think DLC. If they add like an extra fifty. DLC cost you like ten pounds or something like that. Maybe depends how much they cost. They charge the next slot they add. They charge. Hopefully they'll be free and they just give you them. But that's not the way the world works, is it? Let's be fair. So they're sitting on a gold mine, really. It's just whether whether they get sued. I suppose. I would have thought they'd have got sued by now. If they were going to get sued, they wouldn't have had to get this far. So I think it's all in the clear. But yeah, it's a good game. It is. I. I 25 quid, I'd say is... If, is it worth it? I haven't played it enough to really say. I've enjoyed it. And I am enjoying it. So I suppose. Potentially. If you've got this spare cash. 
and you're into Pokemon and stuff. I mean, look, it looks pretty good, the way they walk along. They just sort of stick out, but it's sort of a funny stick out. Obviously, it needs polishing, but the way they stick out is quite interesting. They just seem so... <laughs> like they shouldn't be here. But that's sort of what I like about it, in a way. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. You all take it steady.